All right, so to build the VR environments, there's a separate step you need to do. The first step, of course, you need to create a scene. And the scenes is actually just like a level or any visuals elements you want to put in Unity and you need to show it within the scene. So you can create multiple scenes for your game, but basically you just need a single scene for VR application development. The next step is to create a player. And this is the objects that represents the corresponding position of your player and your headset's movement will be reflected by this player. And this player will also have a camera as just the eye of the user to view the VR environment. And then you need to set the position, your head rotation, and also to add your headset button interaction for this player. And you need to using your head rotation to map your camera. And then you also need a reticle to show where objects you are target for. So you can using the only has a button to interact with the objects and environment within your real world. And you can add your event system to trigger anything when you press the button or when you interact with any element within your world. And then you can set different trigger when you touch something or teleport to a new position, you can set different trigger using a C sharp script. And finally, you can build your applications and deploy to Android or iOS device. Now let's take a look of how to build your VR world using Unity. So now I have an empty project. There's nothing here. So uh, before we start, I just need to build several uh, sample 3D objects. So if you want to build any of the 3D objects, you can go to the um, hierarchy panel here. So you can right click and uh, you can select any of the 3D objects provided here. So I just create a plant for a basic 3D plant here. And uh, I also want to build a, a basic uh, maybe the cube, all right, so you can see uh, there's some objects so you can interact. And uh, the next step is you need to create your player. And the player is a very important object you need to set is to start position of your game. So if you want that your player stand around here when the game starts, you need to put an object here so it's mapping to your player. And when the user move your head and it will uh, move the camera of this environment. So the main camera is actually just like the eye of your user. So when you move the head, I want to map the head movements to rotate this camera. So there's several things you need to set up. First is you create a player object and uh, you don't need to have any 3D or mesh for that player because if you're using VR, you cannot see yourself. So you just need to create empty objects for that position. So just create an empty and I just rename it to player. And I want to using the main camera is actually the eye. So I need to make this main camera as a child of this player. So why I set this hierarchy is when I move the player, the camera will move along. So this uh just like, okay, if you want to create a game, that player will walk around. So the main camera will follow. All right, so I just uh, make sure the main camera and the player is on the same position. So you need to reset the main camera. If your um, the X and Y Z position is not the same as the player, you need to reset it. So the player is now in the origin of your 3D wall and I just uh, select the main camera and go to the transform and just make sure um, the X, Y and Z value is to change to zero. So this will reset, okay, the value of my camera and uh, then if I want to move the player to the start position I just move the player objects okay I can move around here or maybe a little bit higher than the ground so this is the start position so you can preview by clicking the main camera so you can see the camera preview window here and if you want to test the game you can click the play button 
But if I click the play, there's nothing happens when I move the head because there's no mapping uh, or any interactions to map the head movement to the camera. So the next thing you need to do is you're using the SDK provided by Google so you can map your head movement to the camera movement. All the content of the SDK you use is within the SDK folder. So if you go to the Essence panel, you can see all the functions and features you can find inside this Google VR folder. But there's a lot of things within this folder. So most of the time I suggest just go to the search bar to search the corresponding objects or prefabs in Unity which can be used within your real world. So the first objects I need to use is called the GVR Editor Emulator. So this is the blue box is called the GVR Editor Emulator. So you can just type GVR Editor or Edit and you can see the uh, Unity's will try to filter uh, the corresponding or match of this name uh, within this assets folder. So I just need this blue board. So anything you want to use within your project, you just drag it to your scene. So I drag this blue block or prefab and just put it within my uh, scene hierarchy. And this will already link your head movement. So when you move your head and uh, it will move this camera. All right, so this is what this GVR editor emulator will do it. And uh, it also provides another thing is you can preview these interactions within Unity. So you don't need to build the application to your phone. If you want to build a game, I just want to preview. I don't want every time I need to build uh, to the phone and put it in my headset or cardboard. So I just uh, build the environment and test here. So this emulator will test, will allow you to test the head movements rotation uh, within the game window. So after you have this game uh, or GVR editor emulator, you can click this play button to preview the game. So I just click this play button and I can uh, try it using the alternate key or option key and you move your mouse and Unity's will pretend your head movement. All right, so it's just mapping or just uh, let you to test the game uh, or just uh, pretend, okay, the user just look around to see the world. All right, so this is a very simple um, object or prefab. You just drag it to the panel or hierarchy and then you can preview this interaction. And that's, okay, the basic setup. All right, so now, you have some basic 3D objects. You have a player, and this is the start position of your game. And also you have the GVR Editor Emulator, which can allow you to test your VR experience within the play window. And the next, I will add something so you can target the objects and interact using the buttons provided by Google Cardboard. 